Glam tests. Ooh. Now, this is a qualitative technique that is used in chemistry to determine the presence of metal cations in certain compounds. Okay, those are a lot of words. Let me break it down. Let's imagine you have a compound and you're not sure whether it contains sodium or potassium. You can take a sample of that compound, burn it. So depending on the color of the flame produced, you can know whether this contains sodium or potassium. The reason for this is because metal ions have distinctive flame colors. So you find that the flame color that is emitted by lithium is going to be different from that of potassium. Now, when you hit a the electrons that are present within absorb energy and become excited. So this simply means that they move further away from the nucleus. After a little bit of time, they go back to their ground state, their normal positioning, and in the process, lose this energy in form of light. And this is the flame color that we see for certain compounds. So by this explanation, every metal ion has a distinctive, a unique flame color. Now let's watch this beautiful array of colors that is emitted when certain metallic compounds are heated. Our first one, calcium. Now let's look at the color that is emitted when you burn calcium compounds and that is an orange yellow flame. Moving on to lithium. Wow, okay, wow, this is so beautiful. Now lithium emits a red flame as seen from this. Wow. Next one, sodium. Now, sodium burns with a golden yellow flame. Moving on to potassium. Okay, I have to say this. I have, this is my favorite. Definitely. Look at how beautiful that color is. Now, in case you're wondering what color this is, this is lilac or a pale purple color. Next, magnesium. Now, magnesium burns with a blindingly white flame. So, it's so bright. Look at that. Now, I want to mention this. As you can see from the flame colors, a lot of these metals are used in the production of fireworks. And that is the reason why we have those beautiful colors in the sky as a result of these compounds. Now, our last one is going to be copper. Wow, we are ending this with a bang. Look at that so pretty so copper bands with a blue green flame as seen from this and that ladies and gentlemen is flame test so if you want to find out whether a compound contains a certain metal and you know the respective colors of the metals you can simply take a small sample burn it look at the color and determine what it is see you next time